Hey, what is up, guys? AshBFC here again, bringing you a quick review on God of War Ascension. Yeah, uh, definitely one of my more anticipated releases of the year. I've been looking forward to this one. I'm a huge God of War fan. I friggin' love the series. I think it's one of the best series ever. Uh, I consider it to be the king of hack and slash, and uh, definitely a series worthy of the word epic, because God knows epic is one of the most overused words ever. Everything's friggin' epic nowadays, and it was not epic, is the question. But uh, God of War is epic, I'll tell you that. Um, yeah, it's an amazing series. See, like I said, I've been looking forward to this one. Um, now, it, uh, it serves as a prequel to the original God of War. Um, but, you know, it, it's a great game, it really is. But I can't lie, it's a disappointing game. I think it is the weakest in the series. Uh, it's better than the PSP games, but you'd expect that because they're handheld games. But it is the weakest of um, the four main console games. Um, I think the series lost a bit of steam with this game. Uh, it just, it lacks that sort of wow factor and holy shit moments and that whole factor that the other games delivered, particularly God of War 3. I mean, God of War 3, it raised the bar pretty high, didn't it? That game was nuts. I mean, it was the final chapter in Chris's story, you know, finally getting his quest for vengeance and stuff, taking on Zeus and, you know, the whole climbing Mount Olympus with Gaia and stuff and uh, taking on all the gods like Helios and Hermes and Hercules, I think I'm getting all these names right, and uh, Poseidon, I mean, that, that fight with Poseidon was, that was insane. How do you top that, you know what I mean? Challenge me, mortal, the god of Olympus. But yeah, the main problem is he just doesn't really advance the series in any way, really. It, it, it seems more of a, you know, a step sideways. It doesn't really take the series to the next level. It just kind of plays way too similar to um, God of War 3. There's just not enough changes in there. But you know, like I said, it is a really good game. I mean, all, there's still some great stuff in there, some great moments, a couple of good boss fights and stuff. Uh, combat's still as good as ever. Um, some pretty cool puzzles in there, even though I do think they overused uh, a lot of the puzzle mechanics in the game. Um, you know, some great quick time events and mini games. And they added a, a new sort of uh, dodge mini game, which you used to like, finish off some cer certain bigger enemies. Um, like, you'll initiate like a minigame, finish them off, like, it's like a dodge minigame, you'll have to like, dodge out of the way of the enemy, whilst you've kind of got them in your grasp, you've got to hack away using the attack buttons, and then watch out for the enemy to attack, and you've got to use a left stick to dodge out the way, and uh, it'll like sort of slow motion moment of like, the enemy like, swiping you and pretty much stuck in, and then you can hack away and slice it in half, or whatever, I mean, it's just as brutal as ever, you can't complain about the uh, brutality, that's all there and stuff, some great finishing moves as well. Um, but yeah, overall, it just lacks that wow factor that God of War 3 did. I just think Santa Monica really outdid themselves with uh, God of War 3. Um, I mean, like I said, it's got plenty of great moments. You know, there's awesome sections like you find a lot of guys on a platform, only for the platform to get picked up by some giant monster that's like, wow. You know, that's pretty nuts like that. Um, I mean, there is some great boss fights, but there isn't enough. Um, there's really not that many boss fights, and they're, just, they're not as memorable as boss fights from the previous series, particularly 3, again. But yeah, it's also got, um, the story's really not like great as well, it's a prequel, it's pretty forgettable, uh, and it's before Kratos kind of becomes a madman, he's a lot more relaxed in this game, it's just not quite as fun as him seeing, seeing him being a freaking psychopath and wanting to kill everyone that gets in his way and stuff. It is quite forgettable, it's not terrible, but it is pretty forgettable. Um, it also is the first um, God of War game to include multiplayer, which I'll be honest, it kind of annoyed me. I mean, if you watched my Tomb Raider review and I talked about uh, how I don't like how developers keep slapping multiplayer on, you know, like long running single player series that, you know, it doesn't need, that don't need them. Um, yeah, and this game doesn't need it. It's not, I'm not going to call it terrible or tacked on, it's just not really that good. I did about half an hour on it and that was enough, I had no desire to play anymore. I mean, you can customise your character, which is kind of cool, change their weapons and armour and abilities and you have a lot more as you rank up. There's a few different game modes as well, uh, like you can have up to 8 players, you can have like 4 versus 4, 2 versus 2, uh, you know, deathmatch and team deathmatch and stuff, and uh, uh, like a court mode and stuff, but it, it just wasn't necessary. That time should have been spent, you know, adding on single player, adding more boss fights or whatever, making it longer, because again, it's pretty short, it's only about 8 hours, it pretty much was exactly 8 hours I clocked in. Uh, so, you know, they could have spent that multiplayer time making single player longer. Um, yeah, it is, just, it is just overall a very disappointing game. 
and it sucks that that's the case after it was just going so strong. Um, but I will say the final boss battle is definitely worth it. It's nuts. You, it's one of the best parts. It is the best part of the game. Is the final boss. It's insane. It's one of the best looking boss fights ever in, in particularly in the series. It, it's crazy. It definitely goes out of a bang. I'll tell you that. Um, which makes up a little bit for the rest of it. Um, but yeah, overall pretty disappointing game. Which is still great. Don't get me wrong. I've been quite negative, but it is still a great game. You, you know, definitely worth playing if you're a fan of the God of War series. But I do, like I said. I do think it's the weakest entry in the series, and I think the series has lost a bit of steam with this. Uh, but I'm sure the next God of War, and I'm pretty sure there will be one on the uh, the PlayStation 4, will be, you know, our next true God of War that will blow our minds again. I have faith. Um, but yeah, God of War Ascension. So, so I didn't go into a whole lot of depth. I know this wasn't a very good review, but this is about the seventh time I've tried to record this. I keep getting distractions and stuff, so I got fed up in the end. So this will have to do. I, I apologize. I know I didn't go into much detail. All I kind of skimmed over it. I am very sorry for that. But uh, yeah, it's God of War Ascension. Overall, it's a great game, but it's no doubt disappointing. So yeah, it's my God of War Ascension review. So um, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll uh, see you later. And I'll try and make the next review a little bit better.